Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bruce. I had a viewer write in a question to me and I thought it would be fun to make a video answering that question. So SimPilot wrote in and basically said he has a genuine question and he said that he wants to remove his shock absorber and coil spring from his uh, full suspension mountain bike in order to make it a little bit lighter and wanted to know from me is if it would be possible to do that and I guess just in general what I think. So. Uh, first of all, to answer the question, yes, it's possible. Coincidentally, I had a bike that had this done already to it um, before I bought it. So uh, this bike I didn't have in my possession very long. It was just something that was uh, actually given to me to, to send over to Benin, Africa as part of the charity that I work for. Anyway, though, that was done to it. It worked. It was solid. No problems. So uh, to answer the question simply, yes, it's possible. Now you might be wondering how to do it. This bike, how it was done, is it simply had a pipe, uh, like a metal steel pipe, put in right in the place of where the uh, shock absorber and coil spring were. And I don't think it had any shims or any kind of bushings at all either. I just think it coincidentally was the right size pipe to fit right in there. But maybe I'm remembering that wrong, I'm not 100% sure. So with your situation, you you know probably you're going to find a pipe of some sort, a steel pipe or aluminum. Now I think aluminum might be a little bit soft, maybe depending on the grade or whatever. Uh, but you could easily put a steel pipe. You could even get like a, a trash bike and maybe cut the top tube and, and place that in there. Of course, drill two holes through it. You may have to use some bushings or, or whatever to to make the spacing right because that tube, that little tube, could be too too narrow to fit in the slot there. I don't know, you're gonna to have to be a bit creative and, and resourceful in figuring out how to do it. And of course, think about where you want the, uh, the I guess, trail arm to sit uh, in, in the range of motion, which it could be. Maybe you can measure that when you're sitting on the bike uh, ahead of time while it's all together right now and, and know that distance. So if you're still watching this and you haven't gone into the comments yet, you know, saying it's a stupid idea or something like that, let me, let me talk about that real quick. Um, a lot of people are going to say, well, don't do that. This is just a mountain bike. You don't need to save 100 grams uh, on such a bike. Compared to the bike's overall weight, that's a very small amount. The, your rider's never going to notice it, etc., etc. Uh, that's probably true. Probably the weight you save, you won't really notice on that type of bike. Uh, but I don't want to discourage you from doing it. There's also another benefit you might find by basically making your uh, full suspension bike into a, a rigid uh, hardtail bike and that is while you're riding it when you're pushing out a lot of power going up a hill or something a lot of these bikes don't have a lockout so they'll be bobbing um, by making it rigid you're going to lose that bobbing you're going to get more efficient pedaling and for me it just feels better I, I don't like it when my bike is like bobbing around when I'm trying to put power down so I think that's the biggest performance um, reason that you can have to do such a uh, modification but there's also another reason I would say that you should do it if you want to. And that is, that is that it's just fun to mess with bikes and like hack around on bikes. You know, that's what I do a lot on my channel is just kind of tinker with things. And you learn so much about, about bikes and like how to work on things and just, you know, you're going to have to drill a hole probably into a round pipe. And if you've never done that before with like a hand drill, that can be kind of a pain. So like stuff like that, you just learn by doing, at least I do. So uh, I would encourage it. If you want to do it, then go for it. Here's a small disclaimer. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself when you're drilling round tubes. That, that drill bit can slip really easily, so be careful about that. Um, make sure you do it right when you put it on the bike. You don't want that breaking while you're riding down the hill at like 40 kilometers an hour or any type of speed at all. So uh, yeah, be careful, please, <laughs> if you're modifying your bike. Uh, so yeah, I would encourage it. Like Once you do, once you start tinkering with things, and, and SimPio, maybe you already are are this way. I'm not trying to say you're not or whatever. But uh, once you get into this like mindset of of hacking things and modifying things, you'll find you do it with everything in life. And I, I certainly do. Like anytime there's something that needs to be changed to my liking and in, in my world, I I try to change it if I can. You know, and and you can see that on my prior videos that I'm just that type of person that likes to tinker with things. And so. And I'd also like to say thank you, SimPilot, for writing in the question. And if anybody else has any questions like that, feel free to write in. He, he wrote his in through my uh, Instagram direct message, which is fine. You can also just write your question in the comments, and I'll make another video like this answering them. So uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a great afternoon, day, night, whatever. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.